What's up creatives? Welcome to the Tiffy Show. Today I will be giving you the travel guide to Normandy. So let's get it. I recently took a long trip to France and one of the places that I visited was Normandy. Now if you are a history buff like my husband, then this place you probably know about and you are just, it's on your list, you're like, I am ready to go to Normandy one day. If you're not familiar with Normandy, it's where a lot of historical events took place during World War II. So it is a place that you can go and visit a lot of different sites. This trip to Normandy is perfect for the history buff, but I did make it so that if you're not a history buff, but you're with some history buffs, you can also enjoy yourself on this trip. Now we went to Normandy by way of Cannes and that is an area in Normandy and I will explain later why I think you should stay there if you're visiting Normandy. As always, I saved for this trip, I paid for this trip. I have no sponsors or freebies in this, but when I start getting them, I will let you know. Disclaimer, I know I will mispronounce things throughout this travel guide. I tried my best, I researched, this is me, this is what I'm doing. How to get to Normandy. We were staying in Cannes in Normandy, so to get to Normandy, it was pretty simple, but just make sure that you check the train schedules before you book any accommodations or tours to make sure that you get there at a reasonable hour and you don't lose a day. Once you get to Cannes, it's very easy to get to Bayou, which is where you'll probably be going if you're going to take some of the World War II tours. It's an easy train ride, and I highly recommend you stay in Cannes and then just take the train to Bayou on the day that you have a tour, and that is a very easy travel day in terms of point A to point B. So you'll be fine there. Where to stay in Normandy? We stayed in the city of Caen in Normandy and that is because it is known to have a little bit more to do in regards to food, shopping, walking around, and Bayou, which is where a lot of the World War II things will be happening, is a bit smaller. So I didn't really want to stay in the smaller town city so I stayed in Cannes because it's actually known as a mini Paris and it's super cute and there's just a bit more to do and if you are going with non-history buffs or non-world war ii buffs then this is a good place to go because again it has a lot of Michelin star rated restaurants it's known for its food so you'll get a good balance of two things at once you'll get the history sites and then you'll get amazing food. We stayed in a very cute Airbnb on the top floor as usual, you know how I like natural light and it had a studio feel, it was like one bedroom, small kitchen, nice big windows, it was a beautiful little place. It was walking distance to restaurants and shopping, I don't think we ever had to other than just getting there, we didn't really need a car. Things to do in Con Normandy. First up, walk around. This is a very cute and well-preserved city. There is so much to see and just walking around, you can walk all the way to the canals, stroll the canals, have a picnic at the canals. Also, you can check out Abbe Aux Dames. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but we stumbled upon this and this is actually where William the Conqueror's tomb is and you can walk around the outside. I believe you can tour inside as well, but it's just a very pretty building and it has a very pretty garden, good for those Instagram shots out in front. You can also check out the Chateau de Con and you will see this because I think you'll stumble upon it on your own. It is a castle kind of in the middle of the city and it has a flag sticking out of it and you can walk around the ruins or you can just walk around the outside and that is a very cool little hidden gem. Not hidden, it's huge. You're going to see it. Next up is shopping. Surprisingly, I wasn't expecting it to have so much cute shopping, but it did. It had a, a main street that had a lot of popular shops, high-end luxury stores, as well as smaller boutiques. I went into Mad Vintage. I love a vintage or thrift store. And Mad Vintage, I stumbled upon it. It was a really well curated, affordable, vintage vintage store and I ended up buying some shorts but I tried on a few items. It was such a cute store and I highly recommend that if you like vintage items. And then we went to Pull and Bear which is comparable to H&M or Zara but I only see it when I'm traveling internationally. So it's something to check out. We also went into random other boutiques but those are the only things that I remember the name of. But super cute shopping. Get your shop on while you're there. You won't be disappointed. Where to eat and con. Okay. I was only there for a little while, like we're talking like I had two full days there. Considering that, I got two gyms for you here. The first one is called La Collade. I will put the names on the screen. And this was a former Michelin star rated restaurant. It served seven courses and we had to do it. We had to. We were in an area known for its food and we were like, we have to like do something super bougie and like get that 
seven course meal and we went if the waiters were super nice if you go here get the drink pairings it elevates the experience the courses were what you would expect a fine dining french seven course meal to be they were quite small and beautiful small and beautiful is probably the best way to describe them but delicious and we first made fun of them but they kept coming out and we got surprisingly full during this experience and i know i said seven courses it felt like more courses that could have been the drinks talking but it did feel like more courses second place that we went to was called magic boo goss and uh, this is like a complete opposite so that was bougie the last restaurant this is affordable fast food it's middle eastern cuisine delicious we were told about it by a local I got the formule moussaka and the fritz maison and let me tell you delicious if you go you have to order the magic sauce if they don't offer it to you say can i get the magic sauce and they will be like oh you want the magic sauce like you know what's up and that will change the game how to get your world war ii fix a lot of you this is what you're here for in this video and i'm going to tell you what's up uh, if you want to do the whole World War II sites while you're in Normandy, I highly recommend that you book a tour. You meet in the city of Bayeux, which is about a 20 minute train ride from Cannes, and you meet at the same place that a lot of tours are meeting in Bayou, but it's very easy. Once you get off the train, you just walk straight over to it and you'll see other tour groups. And then eventually your car will come and it'll call your name and then it'll pick you up and take you. If you book the same tour that I did, it's going to be down below then please request chloe because you will have a wonderful experience remember that this is an eight hour day so you want to have someone fun why take a tour when you're visiting normandy versus doing it yourself you are not going to be able to see every single thing and tour guides just know how to get there they know how to get you in and out they know where they're taking you and you won't get lost it's pretty overwhelming the amount of things that you will see in this tour i could not imagine doing it on my own let alone in one day so if you do try to tackle this on your own i will give you where we went on our tour just know you're going to need more than one day to do it what did the tour include we went to the i'm gonna list off where we went Bunkers Longa Samir, these were bunkers that were very well intact, a little bit eerie, but we got to walk around them, go behind them, climb on top of the bunkers. It was crazy, but they were very well intact. Omaha Beach, which is surreal. It is a huge beach and it just feels surreal. If you're with a tour guide, they're explaining what went down and you just imagine it while you're there and it's a very different experience than reading it in history books. You also go to the Cemetery Point du Hack and Utah Beach. You end the tour at the Airborne Museum. This was actually a highlight for me. This is a completely underrated museum in my eyes. It's such a cool museum. It has a lot of very cool, realistic mock-ups in planes and it's interactive so you can interact with some of the scenes and they just did a very good job of helping you visualize scenes what the soldiers were doing what it felt like and if you've watched the show band of brothers it's very similar to that so it's a very cool museum i actually wish that i had more time here so this was a place that i would revisit if i was ever in this area again after the airborne museum our tour guide I'd offer to take us to a secret extra spot. I will not tell you what the secret extra spot is because it was a bonus spot and so if you book the tour you will get the secret extra spot as well. Hopefully you're with a group that will take you to the spot but it was super cool. All right so once you finish the tour in Normandy, once they drop you off after eight hours, before you get back on the train to Cannes if that's where you're staying, make sure that you visit the cathedral in Bayou. It's so pretty. Go inside, light a candle for anyone that has passed in your life that you love, but it's just a beautiful cathedral to see and just like an extra touristy spot on the way out since you don't know when you're going to be back in Bayou. And ending this off, just my quick tips one more time to review. If you're going to Normandy, make sure that you stay in Cannes or, you know, you can stay in another city, but that's the one I recommend because it has a lot of cool things that you can see other than just World War II activities. And then make sure that you book an early tour when you do your World War II 
tour. That is because the later in the day it gets, the more crowded with other tours all these places get. So we were lucky we did a morning tour and by the time we were getting or leaving places it was getting packed. So if you want to avoid the super crowds of other tours then make sure that you book early. That's all I have in terms of con. I know it was a short travel guide but I want to help you out in case you are visiting Normandy. Make sure that you check out my other travel guides and if you enjoyed this video make sure that you share, like, subscribe, and comment. Comment below and let me know if you have any plans to visit Normandy or if you have in the past. And I will see you next time. Stay creative.